Oh, big breaking news to report. These are live pictures from NASA as the Orion space capsule splashes down into the Pacific Ocean just west of Mexico after its first test launch this morning. And the test is the first step to eventually sending man to Mars. NBC's space correspondent Jay Barbary joins us from the Kennedy Space Center. So our, our shot, Jay, is, is breaking up. It's freezing a little bit. That's technology. We're going to go with it because this is an incredible sight nevertheless. Um, walk us through what we're seeing here, Jay. Well, right now, they're just a few hundred feet above the Pacific Ocean, 600 miles off the coast of Baja, Mexico, and uh, it's right on target. Within, a, within a, uh, one mile of its target, it's 100 feet high right now, and these chutes, Tamron, would cover a football field. It's been a remarkable success for America's next generation spacecraft, a spacecraft that will take us eventually to Mars. There yeah. it is, it's back yeah. down. The splashdown has is, uh, been confirmed, beautiful. Jay. Y yes, yes, it's back. Everything worked. Oh, okay. You know, it's unbelievable that everything worked. It <laughs> went up to 3,600 miles, came back through the atmosphere at 20,000 miles an hour, generated heat of 4,000 degrees, twice the heat of uh, volcanic lava, and it survived. It came wow. through. Everything is working perfectly. And uh, as we said, this is the next generation spacecraft, Tamron. Uh -huh. it, it will set us on a course that will take us to Mars, but more importantly, it will give us the ability to, for the human race to survive, to get off of this planet and go to anywhere we need to go in uh, the solar system to colonize the moon, colonize mm -hmm. Mars if we need to. It just simply means that the human race now can survive once it loses wow. its home on planet Earth. Now, this is it's, the, it's all beautiful. This is the farthest that a human-built spacecraft has gone in 40 years. And I know that when we were at the final uh, launch um, in Florida, Jay, you were very excited about the, this project and, and what it could potentially bring to our space program. That's right, Tamron, because for 42 years, we have not, we have not been able to leave Earth orbit. This is the first time an American spacecraft or any spacecraft that can carry humans has uh, left uh, low Earth orbit since Apollo 17 landed in December 1972. But this is two and a half times larger than Apollo 17. Uh, uh, it'll come back in space. It can spend 21 days on its own up there, but more importantly, it carries habitats with it. It can be set up to go to Mars, but we've got to learn how to get there, to go yeah. to any destination in the solar system. But it's great. It's the next generation, and it has been a wonderful success. And, and this, again, are live images that you're looking at of uh, the splashdown, and you see the helicopter there as everything has gone well. And this was a, a little precarious, as we always know, uh, Jay. Yesterday, uh, the launch was scrubbed due to a couple of problems, which included um, technical and weather-related issues. That's correct. Nothing wrong with the spacecraft. And everybody's really amazed that it's come through all of these tests on its first flight as well as it has. It has been a beautiful success for the next generation spacecraft. It landed exactly where it was supposed to be. So that means that we'll probably stay on track to go back uh, into space with this to the moon on a circumlunar flight. Wow. Could be as possibly as early as 2018, 2019, wow. 20. Of 21. Whenever it is, Tamron, I want you down here with me because you and I are going to ride it and we're going to go up there together and come back. So okay, anyway, I'm very date. excited right now. Yes. Yeah, you, I'm very excited, dear. Yeah. And what it's people been a terrific certainly success. know, look, and we're looking now um, at the excitement shared by those at Mission Control um, as they are celebrating, giving out hugs, applause, and that's something that is so important to our space program. And, and we've talked about this, the men and women who dedicated their lives, you as a reporter and those who've worked in this industry, who after that final uh, shuttle launch did wonder what would happen to our space program and if we would have um, the initiative, the will, and, and stay focused on the importance of missions like what was accomplished today, Jay. That's right. In other words, uh, NASA has a budget, and everybody says we need more money, but NASA is really spreading itself too thin. It's uh, uh, supporting a lot of project that really isn't taking us anywhere, really mm -hmm. isn't going anywhere. NASA's, uh, NASA's job is to explore, to advance the envelope. Yeah. And you see, being living on a planet that's finite, 
one day we're going to have to get off. And when you see a disease like Ebola, for example, yeah. well, just a, a disease itself could uh, keep us from surviving on this planet. So we've got to have a way of getting off, and this is opening the door, taking the next yeah. step where we can do this. And if there should be another asteroid coming our way, it's going to hit, hit us. This type of spacecraft can go up, we can deflect this asteroid, and we can prevent yeah. Earth from being destroyed. And it's a big day in science right here, Tamara. It is a big day, and you are always a great partner to share um, this space <laughs> with and, and educating us on what's going on here. And by the way, before we let you go, and we will keep our audience up to date on everything that's going on um, at Cape Canaveral, um, I have to say to you, guess what book I'm giving out for Christmas gifts this year? Oh, okay. Did you get your email? <laughs> I did. And tell everyone, got his. tell everyone got what his. book is important right now as we watch the success of the Orion. Yeah, it sure is, Angel. I really appreciate you having me on. And uh, I'm, I'm a little, as I say, I'm a little excited because no one really expected to go this well. It has. And if we stay on this uh, of course, we're there. We had uh, Senator Bill Nelson, our senior uh, senator down here. And he's chairman of the uh, committee that's been pushing this and trying to get the money within NASA going back to exploration. That's where we need it, exploration, not only in uh, astronauts, mm -hmm. human space flight, but in yeah. uh, unmanned space flight. Well, for those so who don't maybe know. Maybe we'll get back. We'll, yeah, we'll get back to pushing the envelope in science. Yes, and that's we what will. That's what this means today. I yeah. could talk to you all day, Jay. And again, congratulations on your book, Neil Armstrong, A Life of Flight. For those who do not know the title of it, I'm giving you the book plug, and I don't care if somebody has an issue with it. Thank you so much, Jay.